Well, hello there. Welcome to Marina Teachers. So you want to be an entrepreneur? Well, that's interesting. And you want to know what your seed capital options are. Is that so? Well, you've come to the right place. Throughout this video, we will be examining a variety of options to help you choose the right form of financing to suit your startup needs. When you're trying to decide on the best financing option to start your business, you should consider 1. How much money you need 2. By when do you need this money? 3. The repayment terms and how soon you can generate revenue to recover these startup costs. And 4. How much ownership are you willing to surrender to others? Some of the most popular ways that you can use to obtain your startup financing include 1. Your personal savings 2. Debt financing 3. Equity financing 4. Government grants 5. Crowdfunding We will now take a closer look at each. Starting a business using your personal savings is absolutely rewarding. Plus, you won't have any debts to repay. That is fantastic! You can accumulate this money incrementally or over time through your personal savings account. What's great about this is that you have set a goal or a target and when you have reached that goal and you've accumulated just how much you need to start your business, you're going to feel so proud and experience a sense of accomplishment. Another way that you could look at is perhaps you had a wealthy relative that passed on and left you an inheritance. You can use that inheritance to start your business. Or you may have some insurance policies or saving options that will have become due. You can convert those to cash and use that cash to start your business. Finally, you can also get very creative with some amazing fundraising ideas to start. Now I know what you're going to say. And you're right, not everyone is in a position to save all the funds they need. Nor do we all have wealthy relatives who would bequeath lofty inheritances upon us, which would enable us to start our business. So, with that being said, sometimes we might need to access debt financing. Through banks, credit unions and other lending institutions, we can borrow the amount we need at an agreed rate of interest which we repay over time. Some options which are available would be through loans, credit cards and lines of credit benefits of debt financing are, well, you would actually retain control of your business. You can also use it to build good credit rating which could help you get more funding sometime in the future. And interest may be deductible from your taxes every year. Some of the drawbacks of using debt to finance the startup of your business? Well, there's a risk of bankruptcy. You might not be able to have enough cash to cover your current financial obligations and you can become bankrupt. It is ex an expense which needs to be repaid. You could also slow the growth of your businesses. So instead of pumping cash or revenues back into the business, your money is tied up in repaying debts. Also, sometimes banks may be unwilling to give you all the money you need and it may be very difficult to get the bank loan or to secure the bank loan. Another form of raising your startup capital can actually be through equity financing. This is where investors offer you the money that you need to start your business up in exchange of some ownership for the company. Two common examples are venture capitalists and angel investors. Venture capitalists are individuals or firms that finance or invest in startup ventures. They also provide advice and guidance. 
They are a great option for fast-growing startups who want to scale their operations very quickly. Some of the advantages of using venture capitalists are you can raise large amounts of capital. You have no monthly payments. It's better risk management than using debt finances and you don't have to use your personal assets for collateral. However, on the downside, you will have to also give up some ownership of your company and venture capitalists may be hard to find. You can also use angel investors to finance your startup operations. Angel investors are persons who invest in new or small business ventures providing capital for expansion. These individuals are usually looking for very high rates of returns. They can sometimes even be your family, your close friends, or just wealthy individuals that you may know. Or you can access them sometimes through crowdfunding on the internet. Some examples of using angel investors that you have access to a large amount of finances and these wealthy individuals want to invest. However, the major drawbacks would be you have to give up some control of your business. Crowdfunding is a great way that you can also raise the money you need to start your business. It is excellent for profitable and for non-profit organizations. So basically how it works is that you set the target that you want to raise and persons can contribute small sums of money into a pool. Actually, this can be done on a small private scale such as by gathering all the persons you personally know, your friends, your families and acquaintances or on a public scale such as by using a crowdfunding website. These online investing forums attract individuals and firms who want to invest small sums of money for a rate of return on their investment. However, the downside to some of these sites is that you don't get the money unless you raise your target. So even if you fall short by a couple of dollars, you still don't get it. However, it is considered, it is. Finally, you can check to see if your government gives any special grants to help companies start their businesses. Especially if you are an NGO or a small or micro enterprises, special funding or grants can be available through statutory boards such as Netco in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, let's discuss some advantages and disadvantages of using governmental grants. Let's begin with our advantages now, shall we? Firstly, unlike banks and financial institutions, when you are applying for a loan, you'd be charged an interest rate. But with governmental grants, there'll be no interest rates charged. Secondly, you would also have no monthly installment or repayment of the money. Thirdly, you also will not have to give up any share of ownership for these grants. There are also some disadvantages. Firstly, the application process. Depending on the circumstances, this may actually take some time to get the funds as there may be an application process to ascertain your eligibility for the grant. Secondly, the grant may be for a limited purpose. And thirdly, you must use the money solely for the reason why it has been granted to you. Now we've come to the end of our short tutorial. I hope you like it. Let's review what we've learned. When starting a business, you must give careful consideration to how you will finance your startup operation. Some sources of finance include your personal savings, debt financing or taking a loan, equity financing. This is where you exchange a share of capital for and ownership in your business, crowdfunding and governmental grants. Bear in mind that each of these have advantages and disadvantages. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give this video a 
big thumbs up and to subscribe to Marina Teachers. Share this video with someone. Look out for more content that will help you to slay cake entrepreneurship. Bye for now. See you soon.